In the previous video, we talked about three metaphors that could help us understand what worldview is. But you might be wondering, so what? What does it have to do with me? Or better yet, what does worldview actually do? In this video, I'll suggest five reasons why understanding worldview is important in the context of becoming better cross-cultural representatives of King Jesus locally and globally. Let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. The first reason why worldview is important is that it helps us to understand ourselves. It helps us to become self-aware, to become aware of our own assumptions, values, and beliefs. It helps us to understand our own thoughts and feelings and behaviors. Understanding our own worldview can help us to grow spiritually and emotionally. And knowing what's inside the deepest and darkest parts of our cultural worldview iceberg can uncover some of the biases, stereotypes, and generalizations we make about other cultures. And you probably know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's how a certain ethnic group drives, or how some races use particular spices that make their house or clothes smell a certain way, or how some people groups are so loud, so dirty, so dishonest, so violent, so on and so on and so on. These are the kinds of walls that keep us apart instead of bridges that draw us closer together. When we uncover these dark areas in our worldview, we might just grow in our compassion and empathy for others who are not like us. We might begin to grow in intercultural competence where we can express our own values, assumptions, and beliefs as we listen and seek to understand another person's worldview. The second reason why worldview is important is that it helps us to remember that reading the Bible is a cross-cultural interaction. We need to remember that the Bible is an ancient and foreign text. It was written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Koine Greek. It communicates truth in ways different than our own. You might have heard the quote, the Bible was written for us, but not to us. This means that the books, poems, and letters in the Bible were written by authors who have their own worldview, their own lens of interpreting their reality and experiences. Understanding this helps us to have a posture of humility and to seek first to understand the Jewish worldview and culture. And when we remember that reading the Bible is a cross-cultural interaction, we might even pick up on some things that we might have dismissed or filtered out because they did not fit our own view of the world and reality. Comment down below, how do you remind yourself that reading the Bible is a cross-cultural interaction? What have you found helpful that has given you a better understanding of the Jewish worldview of Jesus and of the early church? The third reason why worldview is important is that it helps us to understand better what other people might be going through. It helps us to become better representatives of King Jesus when we try to empathize with people from other cultures, when we ask ourselves worldview questions. We could probably ask ourselves, how are they seeing the world? How might they be interpreting their experiences? What are the needs that they feel that they need? And what values could they be expressing in making decisions? So instead of defaulting to making critical remarks or judgmental statements, or sticking to our own biases and stereotypes, you can ask yourselves these kinds of questions that will allow you to grow in intercultural competence. These are the kinds of questions you could ask yourself that could be vital to resolving an intercultural conflict in the workplace, or when you're trying to understand why a person or a group of people did what they just did. And like the first reason, we might just grow in our compassion and empathy for others who are not like us. The fourth reason why worldview is important is that it helps us to communicate the good news in a way that is relevant and that resonates with other cultures. When you begin to understand another culture's worldview, you can imagine what might be perceived as good news for them. 
you're not distorting the truth or presenting a different gospel, but you are communicating in a way different from what you're used to, but can be more effective when speaking to someone from a different cultural worldview. In 2010, Mark Naylor wrote a significant article to which I've put a link below. He wrote this, The essence of contextualization is the communication of truth using the concepts, metaphors, and categories of understanding that form the frame of reference and communication of a people group. We'll explore this huge topic of contextualization in later videos, but you can check out the links below to get ahead and explore some significant work that others have done in the area of study and application. The fifth reason why worldview is important is that it helps us to understand what worldview does. Worldview not only helps people make sense of the world, they also try to answer life's most important and existential questions. Questions like, who are we? What is real? What is truth? What is good? How do we pursue restorative justice and right relatedness with God, others, self, and creation? How do we obtain and maintain wholeness, harmony, and flourishing? So in summary, understanding worldview is super important to becoming better cross-cultural representatives of King Jesus. Understanding worldview helps us to understand ourselves, other cultures, and the Bible better. Understanding worldview can help us articulate the good news in better ways. And understanding worldview can help us understand how the message of Jesus is King affects us and gives us a framework to answer life's existential questions. So if you found this video helpful, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And smash that bell, as they say, to get notified when the next videos come out. In the next videos, we'll explore three approaches that can help us understand worldviews. In the meantime, check out the links below for some good reads. If you have any questions so far, write them down in the comments below or send us a message in the back end of the channel. We're planning a question and response video in the coming weeks. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do things that would bring honor to King Jesus. Shalom vechesed ve'emet, my friends.